Hi guys, welcome to Cooking the Books with Heather. Uh, today we're cooking out of the Pools Diner cookbook and we're making malted slaw with roasted tomatoes. Uh, this recipe actually includes two other recipes. Uh, you should have seen before this the roasted tomatoes recipe. It's relatively quick. Um, well, it takes a while, but it's pretty easy. Um, and then also it uses basic malt mayo. I didn't make another recipe for that because it's exactly like the um, basic cider mayo, which we all already have a recipe for, except I did want to show you guys, I made it directly in this jar this time with an immersion blender. It was so much easier, so much easier, so much less cleanup. So I'm probably gonna do that from now on instead of using the actual big food processor. So if you have an immersion blender, I love them. They're great, they're not expensive. If you don't have one, I would suggest getting one. Anyway, so the first step. Okay. The first step with the malted slaw with roasted tomatoes is to actually brine the cabbage. So I'm gonna make a brine here, and of course I forgot a spoon. Um, I've got some water here and some just kosher salt that's all been pre-measured, and so we're going to try and get that all um, dissolved. So I think that's probably as dissolved as I'm gonna get it. This was cold from the tap water, but not super cold. Uh, but now we add some ice to it to make sure it stays cold and that makes the cabbage stay nice and crisp. And so now this is done and I'm gonna go ahead and just put this over here because next we have to prepare the cabbage. And the way she suggests we do it is to quarter this. Uh, this I've already measured out this cabbage. It's a little bit more than the recipe calls for. Um, so I'm going to be kind of ruthless when it comes to um, getting rid of the pieces that are not cooperating. Uh, but so we quarter it and cut out the heart, the core of the cabbage. And almost done with that. And after that, we use this mandolin which I have already set up here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these just right here. And when I got the mandolin, my husband bought me this cut proof glove in order to uh, keep myself, from, keep me from cutting myself because this is super sharp. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take this and slice it. I've I think it's probably pretty thin, should be thin enough. I've never actually used one of these to slice cabbage before. Um, the southern way is generally, this is not going to cooperate, is generally um, either shredded on a box grater or can use the um, what's called a collard chopper. And that will uh, help you get it to where you need it uh, without having to use one of these things. So when this is all shredded, it goes into the brine. So, I'm going to keep doing that with the rest of this and we'll be back. That was really messy and I don't enjoy that. Probably won't do it that way again. Uh, but now I'm gonna, this needs to sit for 20 minutes and I'm gonna get set up to make uh, the dressing and then cut up the other ingredients. So the next step for our malted slaw with roasted tomatoes is I'm gonna go ahead and while the cabbage is brining, I'm gonna go ahead and make up the mayo mixture that we're gonna mix everything with. Um, one thing I'm not gonna show you guys how to do is this is toasted celery seed 
It's just like the toasted peppercorns that I made uh, for the pimento cheese recipe, except they're much, much smaller, um, and they did not take long to toast at all. As soon as it started being fragrant, it kind of smoked a little bit. I, I took it off, I think maybe 30 seconds. Um, and then it got a little bit darker in the pan. So there we go with that. Um, we're gonna add some salt. And then we need some pepper. going to add uh, the zest of half a lemon so I've done this before it goes better if you do it upside down I'd say that's about half And some mustard, about the end of my jar here. And then the basic malt mayo that I've pre-measured here. Next up, that's going to be the dressing. Um, the next step, I'm going to go ahead and slice up the other bits and pieces um, that we need to go into the slaw. So I'm going to clean up and get ready for that. So besides the cabbage, um, draining it and uh, drying it, um, the only thing we have left to do for this is to chop up some green onions. It calls for nine, which is generally, I think, about a bunch. This bunch has seven, but they're really large. So I'm gonna just go with these seven. Um, I'm just gonna take off the yucky bits on the outside. I, I rinsed those first. Um, okay, so I'm gonna trim off the ends. If it has some of the slippery stuff on the outside, the, the membrane between the layers, um, you want to take that off because your knife might just slip on it. So that's what I was doing there. Um, so we're gonna slice these thinly on the diagonal and just put them in the bowl that we're gonna plan to have everything in, I'm gonna serve it in. quite a bit of green onion and then now we have our roasted tomatoes so you should see a recipe before this one for the roasted tomatoes all we ha I've um, I roasted them off and then left them in the refrigerator with olive oil so you see that's why there's lots of olive oil with this I'm not gonna bother draining any any of it whatever comes with it is fine but we do need to quarter these and I might do a little bit more than more chopping than quarters because they're kind, some of them are kind of big, so. All done chopping the tomatoes and you can tell I did these last because they made my board and my hands all messy and now I don't have to clean it up because I'm done. I'm just ready to clean up in general. Um, We'll be back in about 10 minutes when the cabbage will be done brining and uh, we'll drain it 
and uh, get it ready to go in here and put it all together. So the cabbage has been brining for about 20 minutes and I've had a little taste and it does actually taste a little saltier. So that's a, a good tip maybe to uh, season your, your slaw a little bit better. Um, my first step, we have to drain this and uh, run it through the salad spinner. My first step is gonna be to dump all this through here into the sink. concerned about how much I'm going to lose from this because it's so thinly sliced and the, the strainer is the salad spinner has really small well relatively large holes so but we're gonna try to get as much water out of this as we can Spin that one more time and see if we get any more out. Right. A bit more, but not too much. So I'm going to just dump this in our bowl with the rest of the ingredients we already prepped and do the next batch. So that's all of the ingredients for the slaw. Um, and then all we have to do is add the dressing, which I have over here. Um, I just kept it in the refrigerator while, while we waited for the cabbage to finish. Excuse the loud noises. Put this on here and toss it all together. All right. I think that's it for our slaw. Um, all done. I'm gonna, it says to serve it immediately, but I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator because we're just not quite ready to eat yet. Um, but it should be fine keeping there for a little while. All right, we'll let you know how it is in just a minute. Okay, we made the Pool Steiner cookbook version of malted slaw with roasted tomatoes for our Memorial Day uh, gathering. And it was actually really good. The, uh, the roasted tomatoes were pretty easy. There's a separate recipe for those, but it really it was just time, honestly, for those. Um, I was a little skeptical about brining the cabbage, but it really gave it much a much better flavor. Um, it wasn't like just plain cabbage and then some dressing on it. The cabbage actually had the salt flavor, which, which brought out the flavor of the cabbage. Um, I will say <laughs> cutting it on a mandolin was difficult and I probably need a lot more practice before that is something that I can do on a regular basis. However, um, I think mine was also set a little bit thin compared to what the picture has on it. Um, and I can probably cut cabbage easier than that just with a knife uh, in, in that sort of thin strips because I do that a lot. Um, we like cabbage, so we, we cook it relatively often um, and I'll, I'll slice it like that a lot. Um, but all in all, it was good. It was not too difficult um, and not too messy if you don't count the mess from the slicing of the cabbage, but whenever you cut up cabbage, there's a little bit of a mess. Um, so I probably won't use the mandolin again. Uh, the roasted tomatoes are good. I still have yet to use them in something else. Maybe we'll make a BLT with those sometime this week. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was not too difficult. And it was definitely a different kind of slaw than you know our usual um, Southern style chopped up slaw. So everybody else loved it. We liked it. The kids even ate some, so that was all good. 
So, if you enjoyed our video, please hit subscribe. There should be a little link coming up right about here pretty soon. If not, if it's not already already there, hit like. Um, let me know down in the comments below if there's anything else you want me to make, if there's another book that you suggest that I cook from. Um, I notice I, I'm, ten, I'm tending towards Southern cookbooks, but those are what's local to me. Um, so I'm, I'm interested in any other books you guys have to suggest. So thanks for watching and we'll get back to you pretty soon with another video.